Hey, Wid fam, this is Leo with One Happy Widow. Last week, I think I was not sitting close enough to my microphone, so I'm going to try to lean forward today and speak a little louder so that my audio can be heard. This is going to be a short video this week because I didn't have time to plan anything. I didn't have time to do a live session. Um, as you know from last week, I, um, I started back to my new job. And so I've been doing trainings and classroom stuff and all of this all week. So not only am I tired because physically I'm not used to standing up, being on my feet and paying attention and waking up early and all that stuff. But like mentally, I'm just, my brain is full. I'm learning a new job. I have not had my own classroom, uh, you know, to use to teach in since, I don't know, 2009 or something like that so I haven't had to decorate a classroom so I'm having to um, start from scratch I will put in um, a I'm going to put in a video here just to show you what my classroom looked like when I first came in and then when I get done with it all and I'm ready to start then maybe next week or so I will um, post another one just to let you know what it looks like so uh... all right welcome to my classroom I don't know if I'm going to document all of this this year but um i figured this will be my last chance to get to see what it looks like before i've done anything to it so um you can see here i've got my desks and i've got this nice really nice bookshelf over here this stuff was just all left when i came in my room this is exactly what my rooms look like the first this is the first day i've walked in and looked at everything so the bulletin board needs help that yellow was terrible. It looks like somebody just spread mustard all over it. But at least I've got nice looking matching desks. I will be moving those together and putting them in groups of two or four. I haven't decided yet. And there's my storage closet over here. I have a table that's got, I don't know why, but some coffee <laughs> cisterns or something over there I'm not really sure all that stuff will be moving into the storage closet because I don't need or want any of that so that's where my desk will live I've got a really good sized whiteboard I have a nice um, push pin board cork board over there um, and I have this really awesome I don't know what you call it a smart board it's basically a computer, it's touchscreen and all that stuff. Um, but I don't know what the proper term for it, but it's kind of cool because it's on wheels so it can be moved around, that's really cool. And um, that's it. Like there's nothing on the walls yet except for these few things. The clock is not correct. And um, they're supposed to be feeding us breakfast, which is really nice. We're just waiting for that to be delivered. And we'll see. I am not the decorator. I am not the um, fruity fruit fruit teacher that does all the stuff. But I am going to try really hard this year to make my room look nice and inviting. And we'll just document the process. That's my, um, that's going to hold cell phones and calculators. So I'll put calculators in there to start. And then in order for them to get a calculator, they'll have to put their phones in there. Regardless, um, that's where their phones will live anytime that we are having class so that they don't get distracted. Anyway, so that's it for me. I guess I'm just going to start bringing my stuff in. My Alrighty, room. so that's it. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Anyway, um, JP helped me out this um, week a lot. Today is Saturday, and I have never worked in my classroom on a Saturday before school started. I've never done that. I've never needed to, never wanted to, but this time I just have too much work to do in there. And so um, we went in and actually we're going to have to go back tomorrow and uh, finish putting together some shelves and just stuff. So needless to say, I'm tired. And um, yeah. So I guess this week I'm going to talk about being too busy to even grieve. Like I've been too busy to um, hardly even see my kids. They're like, mom, you know, where are you? <laughs> where have you been? They don't know if I'm in the house or out and about. Um, I have been too busy to, you know, to hardly, uh, go on the Facebook group and post any responses or any prompts or anything on there. Um, I, so I've kind of neglected you guys this week. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, I, I usually do a Bible reading every day and I post that on my other YouTube video and I, I mean channel, and I haven't done that in like three days. So it's basically like, 
I've been too busy to do most of the things that I normally would do. But on top of that, I've even been too busy to grieve. So, you know, I'm five years out, so I'm not in active grief right now. Um, so it's probably okay if I go some days and I don't really, you know, let myself have a moment to grieve or feel some sadness or relive some memories. But like when you're in fresh grief, sometimes I think we use staying busy as a being too busy to grieve as an escape. And sometimes it's okay. Sometimes we need to do that because we need a distraction. Because if we're grieving too much all the time and we can't think of anything else but that, then we need that distraction to kind of help us just get our mind off of the grief and the loss and the sadness and the guilt and the anger and, you know, all that stuff. So sometimes we need that. But then if we do that too much and we don't get back to the business of grieving sometimes, it's like a teapot, a tea kettle, you know, that just the pressure starts to mount up. And at some point, uh, the pressure's got to be let off. And so if we do that too much in the beginning, and we get too distracted and we allow our busyness to take away from the attention of grieving, then grief's going to sneak up on you and it's going to decide when to come back and haunt you. And sometimes the timing of that is not so great. Like it'll hit you in the middle of a work day or in a meeting or in the, you know, the bank or something. And so just remember that it is okay sometimes to be too busy to grieve as long as it doesn't last for too long. And so for me, um, it's been, it sounds like a pack of elephants upstairs. I don't know what's going on. Um, but for me, it's been, um, you know, it's, it's been okay for this week for me not to be able to pay attention to my grief um, because I don't have to pay attention to it all the time. But um, I know I'll have to get back to it at some point and just allow myself, you know, a few moments. And I feel like if I don't, you know, give Dewey some attention every few days or so, that um, it's like I've forgotten him and I'm turning my back on his memory and his legacy. And I don't, you know, I want to, I don't want to forget, you know, I don't want to forget my memories of him and I don't want to forget about our life together. And I don't want to feel like I've just ignored it and just, I've just put it behind me and just walked away and not even, you know. And so sometimes I think it becomes a little bit easy to do that when it's, when we've been grieving for that many years because we're like, I'm just tired. I'm tired of grieving. I don't want to grieve every day. I don't want it to be, you know, top of mind awareness all the time. I need a break from it sometimes. But then when I take too much of a break from it, then I start to feel guilty and I start to feel like I'm forgetting. And so you just got to keep a good balance there. But, um, I, you know, I even let go of self-care this week because I've been like eating like crap. Um, I haven't been sleeping well. My face is breaking out. I didn't, I'm wearing a hat today because I didn't take a shower because I went to the, you know, to the school all day. And so, um, like I've got to get back to a routine and it'll be nice when I get myself back on a routine. Um, so I, I go, I have two more days, Monday and Tuesday to, um, to work in my classroom and do meetings and professional learning and all that stuff. And then students come on Wednesday, all new students, all new, um, classes, new school, new coworkers, all kinds of everything's new. <laughs> Um, and my daughter starts back to online school on Monday as well. So we'll be um, making sure that she gets everything that she needs for that. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say about this um, week. Really short video, like I said. And um, just remember, it's okay to be too busy to grieve sometimes. But everything in moderation, everything in moderation, um, you know how my lessons go. It's okay to do anything as long as it's not for too long or too much. And as long as you're not hurting yourself or others. All right. So let that be the lesson for the week. And I will try to put together something that's a little bit more substantial for the next time, but just bear with me because these next few weeks are just going to be like a whirlwind for me. So, um, I don't want you to think I've forgotten you because I haven't, I still, I'm still here and I'm still working on stuff behind the scenes and I still care about you. And so, um, reach out if you have, you know, any questions or you need to reach me for anything, join that Facebook group. The uh, link will be down below in the description. And until then, I guess we'll see you next week. Bye.